Hey guys, Lexi here, and today I'm doing a what's on my iPhone video, um, because I got an iPhone, and all I really did was converted all my apps from my iPod, plus some different ones that are for iPhone, just a couple of them that are specifically for iPhone, onto my iPhone, and so yeah, it's not like I'm like a beginner and I just got these apps, if that makes any sense, so even though I've only had this for like three days, um, I'm pretty set on the apps that I have. Also, I'm not bragging. If you guys think that I'm trying to brag or if you guys just feel like that's what I'm doing, I really don't want anybody to think that I'm being really snobby because I'm really not. So if you think I'm being snobby about showing you my iPhone, um, I mean, you can give me hate if you want to, but, um, you know, I definitely wouldn't recommend watching this video if you're not interested. Um, another thing is I'm trying out beanies. I, I like this one. This one's from Forever 21. You can't really see it in the camera because the lighting, it looks really just like weird, but, um, if you can, you can tell it's got like yellow, green, blue, and pink, and they're like pastel. So I really like this one, and I'm just wearing a purple sweater. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. I already filmed it once, and it was 22 minutes long. And, and I look terrible in the video, so I po I did post it, but I posted it for like two days, for like a, not even a full day, probably like 12 hours, and then I took it down. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So this is my iPhone. It is in a case right now. This case is an aqua blue and yellow colored hybrid case. You can find these on eBay. I'll try to find one like this, but the thing about linking things with eBay is that eBay deals, they end. So if you're watching this video in like a couple weeks, there's no guarantee that the link for this case will be good. But if you search um, hi iPhone whatever, and I'm pretty sure they have them for other models, or HTC whatever, or Samsung whatever, um, hybrid case, they will, there's tons of different color combinations and patterns, like they have ones where the silicone, because this is two parts, um, but yeah, they have a whole bunch of these, and I have the yellow and blue one, like I said, and I don't know why, I just like this color combination, so, um, it was really nice, because it, there's camera, it shows the phone, shows the front facing camera, and then it's got a little cover over the home button, and over the volume rockers, and lock screen button and it's got a little window for the sound to vibrate. So when you turn on the phone, this is what it looks like. It's 9 o'clock in the morning on the dot and my screensaver says keep calm and live like Larry and I'm on Sprint and it's at 98% battery. <laughs> that's all that's on the home screen. Um, yeah, I, I, my password's 5426 if you want to come, like, steal my iPhone. Um, then, oh, I have that open. Oops. Okay, so the first screen, well, technically not the first screen because it's not the one that pops up. It's the search screen. I don't really use the search screen. I don't really know who does use the search screen. And then, just so you guys know, my background is this tribal print and I really liked it because it was super colorful and super fun so yeah oh yeah and I have the iPhone 5 I don't know if I said that but I guess you guys kind of knew because I hauled this in my Christmas haul but yeah I just thought I'd go ahead and say that because some people like to know the model I don't know no okay um, so the, the first page is just the factory set page of apps which include calendar photos camera videos map weather, passbook, notes, reminders, clock, stocks, newsstand, iTunes, App Store, Game Center, settings, and mail. So calendar is pretty self-explanatory. It's just your calendar, like you put stuff in it. Um, and then you have photos, which is where I keep all my photos. I don't have that many photos right now. I only have a, how many do I have? I only have 23 because I just got the phone. I like taking pictures, but I don't like, I, I like having memory on my phone. So, um, yeah, these are some selfies I just took. Oh yeah, I got this headband thing from Forever 21 and I don't know, I don't know how I like it, but I like it, but I don't really know. So, yeah. Um, that was really random. Camera, just camera. Videos, which is for music videos, movies, and TV shows you purchase off iTunes. Any 
video media purchased off iTunes is what goes in that videos folder, not the, um, like the videos you take with the camera. Um, the maps, which is like a GPS, weather, weather, passbook is where you can keep like airline tickets and concert tickets and like your store cards, like your membership cards for like, like so like your Starbucks card or like if you have Rite Aid, like your wellness card or your y Walgreens card, like it can keep track of those in there, which is really cool. Um, then you have notes, which is just notes. Um, reminders, which is really cool because you can add a reminder so, so it says clean my room and then you can go to it and you can edit it and you can um, tell it when to remind you and then you can check it off. As you can see, I checked it off. And then once you check it off, you can go to completed. So then it shows you that you've completed your task. So that's pretty pretty exciting right I mean it's helpful I don't really use it that much yet I probably will start using it once I go back to school but yeah um clock which is where you have your clock your stopwatch your timer and your um alarm and then you have stocks newsstand iTunes app store game center settings and mail so those are all really great oh my ear just um just basic apps, stocks, the stocks, newsstand is where you can buy like magazines and stuff. I don't use that. Um, reminder, oh, I already said that. iTunes App Store, pretty self explanatory, where you buy apps and music. Game Center, which it keeps track of all your scores and games. Settings and mail. So, settings, settings and mail is email. And then on the bottom dock, which is the thing that stays the same, I have phone, Safari, music, and messages. And yeah, it's my phone, you know, keep adding all that exciting stuff. Um, uh, Safari is just internet browser. I don't even want to know what I was looking up last. Oh, it's just an untitled page. My music, I have something. I forgot how many songs I have. I think I have like 231 or something. I have 181 songs, so yeah, I keep it. I try to keep it as simple as possible, and just keep the music I really want to listen to on here because music takes up a lot of space. So, yeah, um, and then you sh and then messages, which is text messaging, and I'm only texting one person, and her name in my phone is very very inappropriate. So, yeah, um, I delete all my conversations after I've had them because I don't like. Because text messages save up a lot of space as well. Um, the And then I have the next page, which is just um, a whole bunch of folders. I have eight folders. And the first thing I have, first folder I have is utilities. And the top, the top row is, so context, calculator, compass, and voice memos came in this folder already titled utilities with the phone so contacts is your contacts calculators calculator compass is something i never use and voice memos is just where you can like record your voice and stuff and then the bottom three are apps i downloaded so i have flashlight which is just when you open it this is gonna be a really long video sorry um so and you have it slid all the way to the right which i guess in your, the video i don't know if that's you guys is left probably um anyway you press the power button and that just gives you guys a flash light and then when you slide the bar across slide the little bolt across like that see how that is it's like a strobe light and it's really cool it gets faster I don't know if you guys can see that yeah but that drains your battery so I don't really recommend using it a lot but it does come in handy sometimes um find iphone which is just when you can locate your devices and then emoji which is just where you get your emojis if you want a good emoji app you can, i recommend this one it's green with a ladybug on it and it has emoji the title is emoji and then it's got like a lesser than like one of those little signs 
and that one actually put the emoji in my keyboard options so I tried like four of them and I could not get emoji to come up in my keyboard options but and then I have the next folder I have is social which looks like that and I'm gonna close out what I had because it's letting off a glare so um, the first app I have is Instagram oops closed out is Instagram and then I have Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, Pinterest, Voxer, and Omegle. So the first thing I have is Instagram. And when you open up Instagram, um, is there anything more recent? Well, no, yes, you can. So Instagram's being a butt right now and it's not updating. It does this sometimes. Like, even if I'm connected to Wi Fi and I have full coverage, it says it can't, like, refresh my feed. But this is my Instagram. So that's what that looks like. And um, I'm 90 photos. And if you guys want to follow me, it's at Lehi, L E H I I I. As you guys can see. So if you want to follow me, you can. I just post a lot of selfies and random pictures. I don't really have like. I posted my first like outfit of the day thing yesterday and I felt kind of accomplished. I had a different case on, but. Um, yeah, I wore Christmas, uh, it's not really, I know Christmas is over, but it's more of like a winter sweater. I know it has trees on it, but that's really the only Christmassy thing. Um, and then I wore leggings, boots, and I had my hair in a high ponytail with a bow on, so I did that. I haven't, I don't really do a lot of outfit of the day, because usually I don't really put on anything cute, but I felt like I should try one yesterday. Facebook, which I'm not going to open because it will display my full name. Snapchat, if you guys don't know Snapchat, it's really cool. So what you do is you take a picture, so I'm going to take a picture of myself. And then you can put um, text on it and be all like, hey, girl, hey, and then, oh, that says her, oh, well. And then down here, as you can see, there's a timer button, and then you get this option right here, and you can pick how long you want to send it to them. So I'm going to pick 10 seconds. I just picked 10 seconds, and then I press send, and then I'm going to send it to myself. So you pick them from your list. I'm not going to, because there's a lot of last names, but there's like a list of people. And then it's going to ask you if you want to send the snap for, to the person for 10 seconds. I'm sending it to myself, but I don't want to give my um, name out. And then it's going to send, and I'm going to try to do this as carefully as I can. So then when you get it, it says like that. It says you received a message, and then when you press the message down and the picture comes up and as you can see in the top corner there there's a timer that's going and it's just gonna keep going three two one and then once it reaches one it goes the picture goes away and you can never see it again so that's really cool i love snapchat a lot so you guys should check that out twitter i can't give you guys my twitter because um i post a lot of things for my school on there tumblr um is the scars mean nothing .tumblr .com. and yeah this is just a little peek of the tumblr app it's a really nice app it, it's improved a lot the tumblr app for any phone used to suck and now at least the iphone one's good um then i have youtube which you guys know what youtube is i'm not really going to show you that app um pinterest which is like a pin board you can like pin recipes and that sort of stuff Voxer, which is like a walkie-talkie sort of thing that I don't use, but if I open my friend's last name, it's going to be on there because I only vox one person. And then Omegle is really cool. You can just, um, you talk to strangers, and you can put in, like, common interests and stuff, though, and then you can just start conversations with them, and it's really fun, and you're actually talking to real people, and you always have someone to talk to, so that's really nice. Um, and then the next folder I have is photography, and I have eight apps for photography. I don't have too many. Um, I have I Illuminate Light, which is, like, um, so you take a picture, so I just took a picture of, of my filming, and then you have to crop it because these are fit for Instagram, and then it gives you just a couple of the effects, like, that are, like, on, um, photo FX, so I can pick, like, these lines, see, that's cool, you know, when I'm taking selfies, my favorite is Burst, but I don't really like it for that picture. For that picture, I'm kind of feeling that. I don't really know why, but I'm feeling that. 
So, um, yeah, it's really awesome. It's kind of like photo effects, but it's free, and it, but it definitely does not have that many options. So that's that. And then I have InstaFrame, which is my favorite framing slash collaging app because there's so many different frames you can use. Oops. No. Um, there's so many different, like, frames and stuff that you can use. And there's classic frames, and then there's, like, um heart frames and circles and all these weird cool things and then there's um different borders and stuff you can use so this is by far my favorite framing collaging app it's called instaframe you guys should check it out next for app i have is called fonto whenever i open that up it freezes it a lot but i do like using it sometimes so that's why i haven't deleted it but it does freeze a lot so i recommend it but i don't recommend it recommend it but you just put different fonts on your photos and then i have blender which is just um, when you take two photos and you blend them together. This video is so long. I'm so sorry. Um, and then I have Keep Calm, which is when you um, make like Keep Calm song signs. So you press the plus button. And then you can like edit the text, as you guys can see. So you can like put different things on there. And then um, you can pick different like symbols. There's a whole bunch of different like symbols that you can use for instead of like the crown so that's really fun i like messing with that sometimes um then i have timer cam which is just where you can put a timer for your photos so like if you want to take a picture but you want to like use your hands in the picture or something or you're taking like a group shot and you want to be in the photo you can use timer cam just set a timer and it goes from i think it's 5 10 15 and 30 seconds yeah so that's really awesome. I also use this when I do my um, outfit of the day pictures. I set it on the floor and put a timer on it so I can take a picture of the shoes that I'm wearing. And then I have Pudding Cam, which I don't understand how to use yet. I just downloaded it because Kylie and Kenner Jenner use it. And it's really cool though because I, I have messed with it a little bit. And you can like pick your camera and you can pick like, they have um, different like cameras you can use so they have this one which is like supposed to be like fisheye and once you use it you can just like um so as you guys can see it's like it gives that like fisheye effect and it's really cool so i like that and then i have cam wow vintage and i really like cam wow vintage um i use it to edit a lot of my selfies so yeah it's just Cam Wow. Cam Wow is very popular. It's been popular since iPhone has begun, but this is the retro one, which I like a little bit. I like better. Not a little better. I like better. And then I have games, and for games, I just have Subway Surfer, Fun Run, Temple Run, Flow Free, Punch Quest, um, Sky Burger, Candy Crunch, Candy Crush, and um, Dizzy Pad. Subway Surfer, I'm not going to uh, open because it takes forever to load. Well, it doesn't take forever, but it just kind of be awkward because it takes like five minutes and I'd just be sitting here like, um, okay. Um, so fun Subway Surfer is just, it's kind of like a modern day version of Temple Run, You're but you're in a subway um, and you're getting chased by a security guard because you can free to eat a subway train. So instead of running through a temple and getting chased by monkey things and it's it's got a lot, a lot better like graphics and stuff and then fun run is really cool it's kind of like um mario brothers i'm not going to open it because i know i was on a page with my friend and my friend's username was on there and her full last name's on there so i don't want to open that up but fun run's really cool it's kind of like um like mario kart a little bit not really but um it's really big at my school and like where i live i haven't heard a lot of people talk about it but fun run is really addicting and awesome and then Temple Run, everybody knows what Temple Run is. Flow Free is really cool because you like, um, you have to like connect the lines. So you take like, there's little like things and then you just connect them all. And then, like, fit, and then, yeah, that was the first level. So that one was really easy, but they do get really hard because the grids get like the grid pieces get smaller and smaller and there's more like complicated routes so it's really really um difficult next time i have is punch quest which um my brother downloaded so i don't really use it but uh actually i have been playing with it a little bit though so that's kind of a lie it keeps logging me out of game center but it's got like those old like game like 
I don't know, you know what I'm talking about? Like, the old, like, Nintendo graphics. It's got, like, those type of graphics, but they're really cool. And it's fun. You just, like, punch your way through, like, zombies and stuff. I don't know if it's still free, but it was free for the holidays, and it's usually $3. So, I do recommend getting that if you want a new game, because it's actually pretty fun. Um, then I have Sky Burger, which is just where you create burgers, and you have to, like, get them. I don't want to log into that, because my full name like you have an employee badge and my has my last name and first name on it so yeah i can't open a lot of these apps for personal reasons i feel really bad about that but um yeah um then i have candy crush which is really cool because it looks the board itself looks like um like when you go there's different levels but the board looks like Candyland, and then when you open it up and you press play this is what it looks like so it's kind of like bejeweled but you're switching around candies so I'm not gonna play that right now obviously but it's if you guys know what bejeweled is it's bejeweled but with candy pieces and there's different levels well, that's really fun I haven't played that much but yeah I, I downloaded it because I thought it was fun and I used to play a game like that but yeah and then I have dizzy pad which is really cool it's by the same people who make um, sky burger and you have a frog and you pretty much just have to like when he's when the arrow points to a certain direction yeah you have to like jump him around onto the lily pads so that's really fun i really like that game and all my games are free except for that punch quest game but like I said, that one was free when I got it. And then I have the shopping folder, which I just have eBay, Etsy, Wanalo, Rite Aid, Sephora, Lockers, and Starbucks in. eBay's eBay. Etsy's where you can buy like handmade stuff and vintage things. And it's really cool. And they have really cool phone cases. Wanalo is something that's really interesting because it gives you like a page of things that you'd see on like Tumblr and Pinterest and all these really cute things that you never... Um, that you see but you want but you can never find to buy but on here they give you links to buy them which is really awesome um and then Rite Aid which is just Rite Aid I can get my prescriptions and stuff from there it's something exciting Sephora um I just buy like makeup and stuff Lockers is a lot like Pinterest except it's got more teenager approved things and you can like make different like boards and lists and stuff i don't get on lockers that much but i have it on there anyway and then starbucks um starbucks app you can just order like your starbucks drink and all that sort of stuff from so yeah and then i have random folder and i have t to zero which is a countdown app and i'm not counting down to much counting down to new year's day and my birthday so that's it for countdowns and then I have PD, which is Period Diary, which is really great for girls who, um, just for girls who have their period. And it's really awesome, and it's probably one of my favorite apps. Then I have iFunny, which just has a whole bunch of, like, memes, and you can add them to, like, your favorites and stuff. And it's really great when you're bored because they're super funny. And then I have SparkNotes, which SparkNotes is, um, I use for English class a lot because I hate reading and I can I, I don't know I'm a cheater no I'm not really a cheater but it helps me with my homework a lot and then I have Spanish dictionary for my Spanish class this is the app my Spanish teacher recommends and you get a word daily word so yesterday's was fresco no two days ago was fresco yesterday's was so sostener and then today's is contar which I it, Contar. It's gonna say because it says. I thought it said contar, which is to sing, but this says contar, which is to count. So it gives you a word of the day, and that really helps me um, expand like my knowledge of Spanish. So I use that a lot. My beanie's like coming up. But it's not supposed to. Okay. And then I have entertainment, which in here I have Pandora Radio. Um. And you just have different stations and all that sort of stuff that you can pick from. So, no, I don't want to buy that. And so you just have different stations. It's a great way to um, find new music. 
And then I have Shazam, which is where you um, can find a song, like a, a song's playing. You just press the little Shazam button and then it listens to it and it identifies the name of the song. And then I have Netflix, which is Netflix. I can't open that because my mom's name will display. I have R Maker, which is Ringtone Maker, but that crashes every single time, so there's really no point in opening it. I actually need to delete it. I have Fandango, which is where you can um, buy movie tickets. And then I have DirecTV, which I can watch, like, I have DirecTV, so I can, like, watch TV and stuff on here and, um, check, like, when, if a movie's gonna be on or stuff like that. So I really like using that app. And then the last folder I have is named Sprint, and it's just got Sprint TV, which is kind of good. I don't really use Sprint TV. I used to love it when I was, like, in the sixth grade and I first got a phone. And then, um, Sprint Zone, which is, like, where you can pay your bill and shop and all of that sort of stuff. And so that's everything on my iPhone. The only other thing I can show you guys is Siri. Which, Siri's really fun, you guys. I don't know. Like, I didn't think I'd need her, and I was like, Siri is just kind of there. But I feel like if you have her, it's a great thing to have, because she is very helpful, actually. She's very good at making people lazy. So, let's just have a mini, mini conversation, because this video is already, like, 30 minutes long. So, okay. Hi, Siri. Hi, Lexi. How are you today? Very well, thank you. No problem. I didn't find any places matching no problem. Yeah, sometimes she'll take it out of context, but yeah, Siri's really fun, I guess. Um, I do use her a lot to, like, cut alarms. Like, if I'm sitting at my, on my, like, half asleep on my bed and I'm like, oh, crap, I forgot to set my alarm, I can just be like, set an alarm for 9 a.m. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I do that a lot because I always forget to set my alarm and you think I would have learned by now, but I haven't. So this is a 26-minute long video and I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy and if you guys have any video recommendations or app recommendations, put them below and I will definitely try out anything you guys recommend. So I really, so I'm, not I really, where was I going with that? I don't know. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye!